Hey guys, this is AB. Today, we will learn how to send mails using NodeMailer. This library has no direct dependencies and is totally independent and also this is an open source. To start with we will use npm install nodemailer save to add the dependency in package.json and install it, then to use it we will import it in our node app like this. So to send the mail first of all we will create the transporter before sending mail which will be created at global level but in some use cases. Like different mails to be triggered from different mail IDs in that scenario you can also provide it inside the method creating dynamic transporter and use it accordingly. So for basic transport creation of any normal SMTP proxy setup we will use this properties under create transport method of nodemailer. Sendmail, this enables the sendmail method on the transporter, which is used to send emails, by default this is true but for my case I have to specify it as without specifying although in nodemailer response it was showing success but was unable to receive the mails, name, this sets a name for the transporter, helpful for identification, this is also optional but for me I have to specify it. The value of this will be same as host only, host, this specifies the host name or IP address of your SMTP server, port, this specifies the port number used by your SMTP server, common ports are 465 for SMTPS and 587 for startles, pool, this enables connection pooling for improved performance when sending multiple emails. I would suggest to enable it as this will help when too many requests are coming for sending the mail or when you are triggering bulk mails, secure. This indicates that you want to use a secure connection, SMTPS, for sending emails. Generally only 587 port requires secure transport, auth, this object contains your email credentials, user, this is your email address. Pass, this is your email password, it's recommended to use environment variables for security and not store the password directly in code, D debug, this should be enabled when integrating for first time or when you are trying to find any RCA in case of any network or any authentication related issue, sys, to use sys transport, set a aws.sas object as the value for sas property in node mailer transport options. That's it. You are responsible of initializing that object yourself as NodeMailer does not touch the AWS settings in any way. DKIM signing can be set on the transport level, all messages get signed with the same keys, and also on the message level, provide different keys for every message. If both are set, then message level DKIM configuration is preferred. In both cases you need to provide a TIM object with the following structure. These lines demonstrate DKIM, domain keys identified mail, configuration for email authentication. This is used when domains should be authorized before sending out the mails. Kim is an object with DKIM options. Domain name is the domain name to use in the signature. Key selector is the DKIM key selector. Private key is the private key for the selector in PM format. The following snippet defines my custom method handler and forces node mailer to use it. Handler context. Handler method gets handler context as the only argument. Handler method can return a promise, using an async function as the handler is also supported. The most useful method of the context object is send command that takes a full SMTP command as an argument. Second argument can be a callback function. If callback is not defined, then a promise is returned instead, resulting CMD response object includes the following properties, status is the numeric status code of the response, e.g. 250 or 334 etc., Code is the enchant status code, e.g. 5.7.0. Text is the readable part of server response. Authentication successful. Response is the full response from the server. 235 authentication successful. NodeMailer is able to use proxies for connecting to SMTP servers. HTTP proxy support is built in. SOX proxy support can be enabled by providing SOX module to NodeMailer. Other proxies need custom handling. To enable proxying, define a proxy option for the transporter. Set HTTP proxy URL for the proxy option. That's it, everything required to handle it is built into NodeMailer. Set SOX proxy URL for the proxy option. Additionally you need to provide the SOX module for the transporter as it is not bundled with NodeMailer. Both versions 1.x.x and 2.x.x of the SOX module are supported. Possible protocol values for the SOX proxy, SOX4 or SOX4A for a SOX4 proxy, SOX5 or SOX for a SOX5 proxy. Additionally you can create your own proxy handler. 
To do this you would need to register a protocol handler callback with the name proxy underscore handler underscore protocol, where protocol would be the protocol from proxy URL. If the URL looks like yyy forward slash forward slash localhost, then you would need to set callback for proxy underscore handler underscore my proxy, handler is the function to run to create a proxied socket. It gets the following arguments, proxy is the proxy URL in a parsed form, options is transport configuration object, callback is the function to return the socket. You can verify your SMTP configuration with verify, callback, call, also works as a promise. If it returns an error, then something is not correct, otherwise the server is ready to accept messages, now we will create the message object inside the sendmail method of transporter which will then directly send the mail, from the email address of the sender. All email addresses can be plain sender at server.com or formatted sender name sender at server.com, to come a separated list or an array of recipients email addresses that will appear on the to field cc come a separated list or an array of recipients email addresses that will appear on the cc field bcc come a separated list or an array of recipients email addresses that will appear on the bcc field subject the subject of the email most messages do not need any kind of tampering with the headers if you do need to add custom headers either to the message or to an attachment slash alternative, you can add these values with the headers option. Values are processed automatically, non-ASCII strings are encoded as mime words and long lines are folded, headers is an object of key value pairs, where key names are converted into message header keys, text the plain text version of the message as in Unicode string, buffer, stream, or an attachment-like object, path, slash var slash data slash dot, HTML, the HTML version of the message is in Unicode string, buffer, stream or an attachment-like object, path, HTTP colon slash slash. Calendar events are tricky because different email clients handle these differently. NodeMailer uses the same style as Gmail for attaching calendar files which should ensure maximum compatibility. If you want to attach a calendar event to your email then you can use the message option icle event, icle event, an object to define calendar event. Method, optional method, case insensitive, defaults to publish. Other possible values would be request, reply, cancel or any other valid calendar method listed in RFC 5546. This should match the method, value in calendar event file, file name, optional file name, defaults to invite.ics, content, is the event file, it can be a string, a buffer, a stream, encoding, defines optional content encoding, e.g. base64, or hex. This only applies if the content is a string. By default in Unicode string is assumed, attachments and array of attachment objects attachments can be used for embedding images as well. Attachment object consists of the following properties, file name, file name to be reported as the name of the attached file. Use of Unicode is allowed, content, string, buffer, or a stream contents for the attachment, path, path to the file if you want to stream the file instead of including it, better for larger attachments, ref, and URL to the file, data URIS are allowed as well, content type optional content type for the attachment, if not set will be derived from the file name property, set optional content ID for using inline images in HTML message source, attachments can be used as embedded images in the HTML body. To use this feature, you need to set additional property of the attachment SID, unique identifier of the file, which is a reference to the attachment file. The same SID value must be used as the image URL in HTML, using SID as the URL protocol. Encoding, if set in content is string, then encodes the content to a buffer using the specified encoding. Example values, base64, hex, binary etc. Useful if you want to use binary attachments in a JSON formatted email object, raw is an optional special value that overrides entire contents of current MIME node including MIME headers. Useful if you want to prepare node contents yourself. Attachments can be added as many as you want. When using raw for attachments then you need to provide all content headers yourself, NodeMailer does not process it in any way, besides newline processing, it is inserted into the MIME tree as is, alternatives, in addition to text in HTML, any kind of data can be inserted as an alternative content of the main body, for example a word processing document with the same text as in the HTML field. 
It is the job of the email client to select and show the best fitting alternative to the reader. Usually this field is used for calendar events and such, list, NodeMailer includes a helper for setting more complex list headers with ease. You can use this by providing message option list. It's an object where key names are converted into list headers. List key help becomes list help header etc. General rules, if the value is a string, it is treated as an URL. If you want to provide an optional comment, use URL, URL, comment, comment, object. If you want to have multiple header rows for the same list key, use an array as the value for this key. If you want to have multiple URLs for single list header row, use an array inside an array. List headers are treated as pre-generated values. This means that lines are not folded in strings. Are not encoded. Use only ASCII characters and be prepared for longer header lines, if your delivery service supports it, not all SMTP servers have DSN extension enabled. Then you can use delivery status notifications, DSN, with NodeMailer, to set up a DSN call, add a DSN property to message data, DSN, optional object to define DSN options, ID, is the envelope identifier that would be included in the response, envid, return, is either headers or full. It specifies if only headers or the entire body of the message should be included in the response, or any. Notify, is either a string or an array of strings that define the conditions under which a DSN response should be sent. Possible values are never, success, failure and delay. The condition never can only appear on its own, other values can be grouped together into an array, notify, recipient, is the email address the DSN should be sent, or CPT, if you want to use your own custom generated RFC 822 formatted message source, instead of letting NodeMailer to generate it from the message options, use option raw. This can be used both for the entire message or alternatively per attachment or per alternative, don't forget to set the envelope option when using raw as the message source. This example loads the entire message source from a string value. You don't have to worry about proper new lines, these are handled by NodeMailer. There are several ways to handle the response from NodeMailer's SendMail method. While this approach is one of the most optimized that I've found, other methods may be more suitable depending on your project's specific requirements and scenarios. Success scenario, the SendMail method returns a promise that resolves to an object, info, when successful. This object contains details about the send email, including, SMTP sender status, indicates the success or failure of the email delivery attempt as reported by the SMTP server, message ID, a unique identifier assigned to the message by the SMTP server. Message time, the timestamp of when the email was sent, message size, the approximate size of the email and bytes, error scenario, the sendmail method rejects the promise if an error occurs, such as being unable to reach the SMTP server or having incorrect authentication credentials. The rejected promise provides details about the encountered error, so basically, this is how the email will look when you send it using the sample code I just showed you. You'll find the code link in the description. This tutorial covers almost all major real-world use cases and properties of the NodeMailer library. However, there are additional properties available that you can explore further in the documentation. If you found this information helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for watching.